The Classic TV Channel is your happy trails to golden oldies television from the 1940s through the formative years of the 1950s and 60s. Enjoy restored TV shows Mickey Rooney Show, Groucho Marx, Trouble with Father, Terry and the Pirates, One Step Beyond, Beverly Hillbillies, Bonanza, The Lucy Show, Dick Van Dyke, Annie Oakley, Ozzie and Harriet, The Howdy Doody Show, and many, many more. Binge your night away. <clears throat> so return with us now to those golden days of yesteryear. From Hollywood. The Jack Benny Program. With a special guest, Giselle McKenzie. I'm Don Wilson. Just a few minutes ago, we finished our dress rehearsal for today's show, and, uh... <laughs> well, uh, today we got through just a little early. Mr. Wilson? Uh, yeah? The cleaner just finished pressing Mr. Benny's suit. What'll I do with it? Oh, that's the new one he told me about. I tell you, just put it in his dressing room, will you, please? Right. Right. Now, let's see, where were we? Oh, yes, today we finished our dress rehearsal just a little early, so Jack had time to go down to Andre's barbershop to get a haircut. <laughs> Mr. Benny. Uh, hello, Andre. Gee, I see you're not busy today, are you? Uh, no, it's a little slow. Uh, good. Now. I'd like a haircut. Oh, certainly. I'll get something for you. Oh, no, wait a minute. I, I want you to do it. Oh, uh, Mr. Benny, is it just nice for an owner to wait on the customers while the other barbers aren't busy? Oh. Oh, I see. Uh, now, if you just uh, sit in that chair over there, and I'll get Sorry. your magazine. It's okay. There you are. Thank you. Now, just wait one moment. I'll get something for you. All right. Oh, Harry. Mr. Benny would like a haircut. Will you take him? Not me. Let Maury do it. <laughs> Not me. Well, uh, Charlie, uh, how about you? No, thanks. <laughs> well, now, wait a minute, boys. We've got to be fair about this. Who waited on him the last time? I did. And when I finished, he offered me a tip. But my hands were full, so he said, I'll slip it in your pocket. <laughs> well, at least you got something. What do you mean, something? When I added up my money, I was a dime short. <laughs> Harry, why don't you take him? You told me once he gave you a dollar tip. Jack Benny offered you a dollar tip? Yeah, spin that old man around in the chair three times, he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> All right, I'll take him. Andre, uh, and what about my haircut? Coming, Mr. Benny, right away. Harry okay. will take care of you. Uh, oh, Mr. Benny, sorry to keep you waiting. What'll uh, it be? I have a haircut here. Uh, fine. Will you roll up your sleeve, please? Yeah. <laughs> roll up my sleeve for a haircut? Don't you want your Novocaine? <laughs> Don't be so funny. <laughs> Just give me a haircut. Yes. <laughs> Not too close. Andre. Uh, yes, Mr. Benny? Look, at, while I'm getting a haircut, maybe I'll have a manicure, too. I might as well. Uh, a manicure? Yeah. Uh, yes, certainly. Just a moment. I'll, I'll get one of the girls. Okay. <laughs> oh, Mildred. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mr. Benny would like a manicure. Will you take him? Not me. Let Helen do it. Not me. <laughs> well, uh, how about you, Goldie? No, thanks. <laughs> well, now, look, girls, we've got to be fair about this. Who took care of him the last time? I did. For a dollar and a half manicure, I worked on his nails for an hour. An hour for a manicure? Why so long? When I got through with his hands, he took off his shoes. <laughs> I know what you mean. He did that to me once. Really? I didn't mind cutting his toenails, but I had to play this little piggy at the same time. <laughs> What about my manicure? Just one moment, Mr. Benny. Mildred, go on, you take him. Come on. Oh, him. okay. Uh, uh, not too close now. You know the way you always do it, Harry, huh? 
Just hello, Mr. Some... Benny. Oh, hello. <laughs> Put Not your the... fingers in this bowl of water. Okay. Ow! How? <laughs> <laughs> Harry, you forgot to give him the Novocaine. <laughs> <Make that hot. laughs> I didn't want it this time. <laughs> Just do my nails. Everything all right, Mr. Benny? Yeah, but while I'm sitting here, maybe I'll I'll get my shoe shine, huh? <laughs> shoe shine? Yes. Well, uh, do you think you really need the shoe shine? I need them. I need them. I'll get them. Well, shall I get a boy right away for you? Yes, sir. Oh, uh, Ray, uh, Mr. Benny would like a shoe shine. Will you take him? I yield to the gentleman from Alabama. <laughs> well, how about you, Danny? Alabama passes. <laughs> Come on, what about my shoes? Just a moment, Mr. Benny. Come on, boys, which ones are going to be? Hello, Mr. Benny. Oh, hello, Sam. Sam, would you, uh... <laughs> Come on, Danny. You do it. Come on, be a good fellow. Okay. Hi. Hello, Mr. Benny. Hello. Doesn't need much, just a little around the toe. <laughs> yes, sir. There you are, Mr. Benny. How do you like it so far? Hmm. Looks all right. What's that sticking out on the side? That's your ear. <laughs> Oh, yes. I can cut it off if you like. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Andre. Yes, Mr. Benny. Look, at while I'm waiting, I'm going to be a, it's going to be a rush to get to the studio and everything. Will you make out my check now? Uh, yes, sir. Bill, and I'll pay it. Now, there was the haircut, mm -hmm. the shoe shine, the manicure, the Novocaine. The... I didn't have the Novocaine. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes, sir. Just watch it a little bit there, would you? Just a little uh, more, just here. It'll come to three fifty. Three fifty? Do you want the Novocaine now? No! <laughs> now, look, will you please all finish so I can get to the studio? I got a show to do. Thank you, thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our show. Now, first of all, I must tell you that I have a terrific disappointment tonight. You know, you know the way Ed Sullivan always introduces people in the audience? Well, tonight, we were supposed to have, in our audience, 23 members of the North Hartford Nudist Colony. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, you see, this was their the first time they've ever been to Hollywood and they didn't know, you know, the rules and regulations of the city. So on the way down here, they were arrested for jaywalking. <laughs> A few days ago, they were in uh, Las Vegas, and nobody paid any attention to them. <laughs> As they were leaving, people just said to them, better luck next time. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, I, um, oh, I know I had something to tell you. First, I must ask you something. How do you like this suit? Isn't it beautiful? Hmm? I must tell you why I asked you this, because you see, if I told you what I paid for this suit, you'd never believe it, really. <laughs> now, really, recently, I went to Hong Kong, you know, and over there you've probably heard about people buying clothes over there. In Hong Kong, you can get a suit that would cost 200 or $250 over here. You can get over there for 35 or $40, you see. So, 
I went around to buy some suits, you know. And um, I didn't go. You see, I was pretty smart. You know, I didn't go where the tourists go. I went where the, I went way down to the end of town of Hong Kong, where the Chinese themselves go. <laughs> and you, what do you think I paid for this suit? Twelve dollars. <laughs> Imagine a beautiful suit like this, fitting like this, and. Twelve dollars. God, I um, I try to get two pair of pants with it, but they gosh, twelve dollars. Gosh, if I only wear three or four years, it's worth it. <laughs> well, anyway, you must go to Hong Kong. Those of you who have minutes, a beautiful city. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present my guest star, young lady whom you've seen so many, many times and a lot of times on my program. Miss Giselle McKenzie. Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile, even though it's breaking. When there are clouds in the sky, you'll get by if you smile through your fear and sorrow. Smile and maybe tomorrow you'll see the sun come shining through. Your face with gladness hides every trace of sadness, although a tear may be ever so near. That's the time you must keep on trying. Smile, what's the use of crying? find that life is still worthwhile if you Whatever you feel and do, just smile. Giselle, come out here, will you please? Giselle, that song was just wonderful. Isn't it? Why, thank you, Jack. And you want to know something? You look as beautiful as ever. Well, thank you. You know, Jack, I've worked with you many times, mm -hmm. but I've never seen you look as well as you look tonight. Really? Mm -hmm. Is that a new suit you're wearing? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm glad you noticed it. Huh? You like it? Well, I certainly do. Zell, what do you think this suit cost me? <laughs> Gosh, um, I don't know. Well, I went to Hong Kong and bought it. This suit, it cost me exactly $12. $12? How about that? Gee, I think it's beautiful. There you are. And you know why I wore it? Because I thought that maybe after the show, Tonight, you and I, we'd go out, maybe have dinner, go dancing, oh, have a little fun. Oh, gee, I, I wish you'd asked me before, Jack, because I'm busy tonight. Busy? Well, you see, I'm going to a party. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll go with you. <laughs> no, no, you see, Jack, you, you've got to be invited. 
Well, it's, tell the hostess that you're bringing somebody. I can't very well do that. Why not? I'm the one who's giving the party. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving the party, and, we, and you didn't invite me? Well, well, Jack, you don't have to be offended. After all, th this is a... A kind of a party that I'm giving for the people that I owe. That you owe? Well, you see, I've been here now, out here, for about a year. Mm -hmm. And I've been going to, you know, the different homes of my, my different friends. And, uh, well, in order to pay them back, mm -hmm. tonight they're all coming to my place. Giselle, you mean that I have to invite friends to my house before they'll invite me to their house? Well, Jack, that's only etiquette. Etiquette? I call it out and out blackmail. <laughs> <laughs> but Jack, you misunderstand the whole thing. You what? see, this is this is really a, a reciprocal party that I'm giving for the people I'm obligated to. Mm. I mean, it's not like the party I gave last week. <laughs> you gave a party last week? Uh, oh, well, Jack, I, I didn't know where to phone you. How do you like that? She didn't know where to phone me. I'm listed in the yellow pages under available for party. <laughs> I've been there 11 years. <laughs> go, go be nice to people. That's all I got to oh, say. Oh, Jack, if you feel that bad about it, why don't you come tonight? Giselle, do you think for one minute after what you just said, I'd go to your house for dinner? Yes. <laughs> What time? <laughs> right after the show. Okay. You know, a good insult always makes me hungry. <laughs> now, Giselle, you know what always happens when we work together and what the audience usually expects from us. So will you go out and get them, you know? Okay, I'll get the violin. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> I can't understand it that I have to invite people to my house before they invite me to theirs. I'm glad I found out about it, though, because all these years, I thought the reason I wasn't invited is because people didn't like me. Here you are, Jack. Oh, fine. This is what they were waiting for, huh? Okay. Right. Hey, let's tune up. Give me A, will you, please? All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, Giselle, let's not, let's not repeat things, you know, every time we play, we always play that same number, getting to know you, you know, let's not repeat it, let's, let's play something new, something different, what Good. would you suggest, all right? Well, how about an old standby, you know, something like, uh, Stardust or Fascination? Fascination. A good That'll time. be fine. We'll play Fascination. Okay. okay. Fascination. Right? Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> oh, no. You ever get those orchestra leaders always start out like this? <laughs> Looks like you're asking a horse how old he is. <laughs> play Fascination, huh? Yeah. You know, I, I can't get over that beautiful suit. Really? It's just gorgeous. Well, that's a beautiful dress you're wearing, too. Oh, thank you. In Hong Kong, you can get it for seven dollars. <laughs> Shall we play? Yes. Ready? Ha, ha, ha. 
that you have improved. <laughs> you really have. And uh, I think that it went so well that maybe we ought to play an encore, huh? What would you suggest for an encore? Well, since I'm improving, yeah. how about uh, <laughs> <laughs> something on the classical side, like uh, Monty's Chardis? Oh, Monty, Monty Chardis. Oh, the number that goes, da, 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 da. That's so difficult. Da, da. All right. OK, we'll do that. I'll start it, huh? OK. All right. <laughs> gentlemen, and now Don Wilson come out to tell you that I'll be back in a minute. Jack will be back in a minute, but first... Thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen. I also want to thank Giselle for being on my show again. Wasn't that awful, the thing that happened to my suit? The thing that bothers me, I had 11 more made in the same store. Oh, well. Good night, folks. See you soon.